What's up guys, Little Punisher Gamer here. Today we are here with Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. And this is going to be a new playthrough on the channel. I'm very excited to be doing something different. Because, you know, we've been doing our usual Pokemon and Animal Crossing content for quite a while. And I decided to start doing a brand new series um, on the channel. So, um, yeah, I thought we would try to play some Legend of Zelda and make a playthrough out of it. Um, I know this game is, like, about, like, three years old, and, um, I actually got this game, like, a few months ago. I never recorded it or anything, and I did play a little bit of it before. I never beat the game. That's one thing I know. I got a little bit into the game, but I never beat it. Like, I got to, like, a little, a, some, a few parts of the game. But I never really beat the game, and I barely remember any of the story, and I, I also really never looked up anyone else play this game. So I've only played this game myself, and I kind of forgot half the story, and, you know, a lot of other things in this game. So, you know, I decided that we would probably, I, I would, you know, make a new account, because I kind of, um... I feel like this game would be a really good game to make a series out of, and I think you guys would enjoy this as well. It's something different from my usual content. And, um, yeah, I really would love to get more into this game, um, especially with recording it. Um, I would like to, if you guys would like to see me play more of this, let me know, because I would like to see if you guys would enjoy me playing this. I know the new, Legend, the new Zelda game is out. Uh, I think it's like Hyrule Warrior or something. <laughs> But, um, I, I want to, I don't know if I'm going to, I don't know if I'll get that. But, um, yeah, I, if I do ever plan on getting that, I would like to beat this one first. Because I never beat this, this Zelda game yet. And also, this is my first ever Zelda game that I've ever played, guys. So, um, yeah, if I, I kind of stuck on it. I've only, um, that's my first one. I mean, I don't know if it matters in the game that I played. So, but, you know, just letting you guys know that, point that out right there, guys. This is the first Zelda game I've um, have ever played, and, um, I, um, for the, for the time playing off screen, I had, I, I had a lot of fun with it, and, um, now I get to share my experiences with you guys, which is gonna be even more fun for me, and, you know, the people are watching this, so, uh, yeah, let's get right into this, instead of talking out of me, and, um, yeah, we're here, we got the Shakia Slate, a mysterious tablet with a glowing center, you've never seen this device before, and it, yet, there's something familiar about it. And, yeah, we're, I remember this. It's like a little temple. I don't know if this is too dark or not. It might be a little too dark, but then again. Then again, who knows? It's probably the brightness as well. Ooh, I probably messed it up. That's like, I hope it's not too bright for you guys. Okay, that's good. Alright. Let's get right into this. So, we have our little Chikia Slate, which is very helpful in the end of the game. Um, we got some chests here. An old shirt. I really love the music in this game. That's one thing I love also in this game that I know of. The music's really good. All the, the sounds. Love it. Like, I love, um, from, for the time being playing this off screen, I really did enjoy a lot of things. Like, had the overworld and have, getting it to explore anywhere without the game. Like, like, you know, forcing you to do this mission or that mission. You know, I, that's one thing I kind of like about this game. Is that either you can go wherever you want, you know, without the game, you know, forcing you to go do objectives and stuff. You know, you have to do them eventually if you want to beat the game, obviously. But you can, it's like, you're free to roam around. That's what I love. So, um, yeah. That's what a lot of people think, but would love for Pokemon, and that's what also what I love for Pokemon. But this game has it, so that's why I... Um, this game's pretty cool as well. So, yep, we, um, this is Link, I'm pretty sure it's in this name, and, um, the voice, I think, is Zelda that's talking to us. I don't know if I get this right or not. I, I never understood the story from playing off screen, guys, so, um, if you guys would like to explain it more so I can understand better, because <laughs> I never understood the story. For the time being, playing this off screen. Yes. 
All right then. We have the sprint option. I'll also play this with the controller. I only play this with Joy Cons, so I mean, I hope this this look this is better for me because it's kind of hard to play this game with a Joy Cons. I mean, I don't know. I feel like the enemies and stuff aren't that easy. It's so beautiful. Okay, it's a little too bright. I'm gonna down a little bit for you guys. Sorry. So this is the Great Plateau. I also have no idea how long this game will be. So um. That's also another thing, because I never, I guess I never beat this game. I did go through this part, so I know, I know how to equip it. Yep, there's our stick. So, um, but yeah, I have no idea how long this game will be, so we'll, we'll go, we'll go by and see. So yeah, now we're gonna, I'm gonna just collect a few stuff. We got some mushrooms that will restore HP. Um, really helpful. I'm pretty sure you can cook the mushrooms so they'll be better. Uh, you can climb. We climb up here. Ooh, that I, uh, I, I forgot that's what happened. I beg your pardon. I do believe that is my baked apple. You can't just go about taking whatever you please. Oh, forgive me. I cannot resist pulling your leg. Please help yourself. An apple and an open flame make for an succulent treat. It's a bit strange to see another soul in these parts. Who are you? Me, I'll spare you my life story. I'm just an old fool who has lived here alone for quite some time now. What brings a bright eyed young man like you to the, a place like this? Where are we? Answering a question with a question that is fair enough. As I cannot imagine our meeting to be a simple co coincidence, I shall tell you. This is the Great Plateau. According to legend, this is the birthplace of the entire kingdom of Hyrule. And that is the Great Temple. Well, I just put great in there, but yeah, it's a temple. That temple there, long ago, it was the site of many sacred ceremonies. Ever since the decline of the kingdom 100 years ago, it has sat abandoned in a state of decay. Yet another forgotten... Uh, and I can't, I can't read sometimes, guys. Please forgive me, <laughs> forgive me for this. Entity? I, I, I appreciate that right. Maybe. I'm not the best reader in the world, guys. Don't judge, please. Uh, a mere ghost of its former self. Okay, is that how to say me? Anything else? What are you doing? I'm relaxing by the fireside, of course. Although, I'll need to cook myself another baked apple at some point. Simple foods such as apples are fine to eat raw, but roasting them on fire makes them tastier and more nutritious. I don't really know if you guys care for this, but I feel like I, I not a lot of games I play you can just move around while talking to people. Isn't that weird? <laughs> but I kind of like, I like kind of like enjoy that. I don't know why, but I don't really like care. But you know, it's just, it feels cool just being able to talk and just turn your camera around. You know, the Pokemon should be more. And this game's older. I guess I'm not trying to judge the graphics in other games, but I'm just saying this is probably like the best graphic-wise game I've played so far. And it's been three years. And it's beautiful. But, as I said, not not judging graphics in other games. I'm, I'm sometimes bad at this kind of stuff. Alright, um... Oh, crap. There's already enemies here. What? What? Alright. Let's fight. We already gotta fight. Oh, get get out of here. Oh, no, I'm already dead. I'm already dead. Help me, old man. Crap, how am I supposed to fight them? Oh, no. Crap, I gotta, I gotta run. I gotta run. I gotta run. Help the old man. Help me. Oh, there's another stick over here. Oh, there's his axe. I'm, I'm gonna kill them for coming to fight me. I'm gonna catch his hands now. Where are they at? I'm gonna steal their food, and then I'm gonna kill them. Crap over here. Nah, crap. Mm. Oh, crap. I'm gonna die. I'm the worst at this game. I'm the worst at combat. I'm sorry. Mm. Mm. Oh my god, I suck. What, what, how am I this bad at the game? 
I, I, I can't fight in this game. Like, even before, I could never fight. There we go, he's dead. Oh, broke your trees. Mm, there we go. Is that it? Okay, all, all these weapons. Nice. Um. Okay. Switch weapons. Switch. Oh. I didn't know you could do that. How did I not know that before? Wait, what, is, what am I doing? Scope? Okay, I don't need the scope. I don't know why I did that. Got a torch. That's pretty helpful. There you go. Get this guy out of here. He dropped his, he dropped his thing. No. Ah, yeah. Right, give me your, give me your stuff. I broke a club. Thank you for that. And this is a little shrine. Is this sh I don't know. That's not a shrine. But that, that statue, I remember the statue is actually important. So let's go here. There's a statue, if I'm not mistaken. It is the goddess statue. It smiles on you. <laughs> okay, can I, can I talk to it? Okay, I can't. Well, I think I have to I actually have to do some more of the stuff, I guess, before I can do that. Well, I know that after I guess I do something, you can. Uh, it's a way to get like more hearts or more stamina. Which um, the first time playing this game, I put I picked stamina, but I feel like stamina is honestly always going to run out super fast. So I might as well go for hearts this time. So I think I'm really bad at combat, so I feel like hearts would be more better for me. Alrighty then. Oh, the music is so good. I love the music. You guys might like hear my, my volume's really low, but it's like the music's so good for this game. This game has really chill music, and I love that. Okay, I can't remember what I'm gonna do here. It's still how peaceful this game is, dude. It's such a good game. Like, you know, it's fighting and all that, but it's still like a chill, peaceful game. With this music, at least. Alright, well, I guess we're supposed to go inside somewhere? I don't even know what I'm supposed to do. Oh. Okay, I think I do. I, I did make the same mistake last time where I was like looking around for like a long time and then I went down here and it's like, oh, that's what I'm supposed to do. I mean, it was going to take me like five minutes. I mean, it took me like at least like 30 seconds to figure out what I was supposed to do. So that's good, at least, right? Here we go. She got a tower. Please watch her falling rocks. Uh oh. I don't remember this. Oh, did I die? What happened? Okay, no, I didn't die because it's cutscene. Okay. <gasps> Look at those animals. They're adorable. And the birdies. And those, whatever those are. What in the world? Oh, it's that, it's that thing. I remember that. I forgot all about this. You see what I mean? I forget, like, like all this, to be honest. And I played through this before. Not the whole game, like I said, but I played through this, like, beginning kind of thing. And I totally forgot about this tower. My memory's not that bad, to be honest, also, so, you know, it's pretty crazy. Hey, we're on top of the mountain. Tower, I mean. This is the Plateau Tower. Very high. And, um, I think something's about to happen. Look at that little slate thing. Shakia slate. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Look, some water just popped right into it. Thank you, Matt. Thank you for that. No way, it kind of looks like a phone, to be honest. <laughs> In a way, it does. Remember, I'm saying that. Oh, yeah, the castle. For the past 100 years. How is he alive? <laughs> it's been 100 years. He should be, like, super old right now. That's video game logic. So is that thing a dragon? What is that? I don't never understand what that was. A demon dragon. It looks cool though, like a pretty cool boss. 
I mean, I never actually, that's like, I never got to that guy. Never got to him. So, like, that's all new to me. Well, I mean, I've seen him before, but I never got to that, that area. To that castle and saved Zelda. Is that the whole point of what we're trying to do, is save Zelda? Well, I think save the whole, the whole world, to be honest, or something from that thing. Alright, well... I, is that, I, was I paying attention? Not really. I don't know what to do now. Hang on, wait. Hey, how do I use this to heal slate? Okay, there we go. It's been damaged. How is it damaged? Okay. Go on. Yes. Okay. There he is. This person. He took my glider. I actually memorized that glider from the Mario Kart. That's how I memorized that glider. But my, it would seem we have quite the enigma here. I know that that guy is from Mario Kart, but you know, that's why I remember it. This tower and others, just like it, have erupted across the land one after another. It almost, it is almost as though a long dormant power has awoken quite suddenly. If you don't mind me asking, did anything odd occur when you were at the top of the tower? I heard a voice. Well, no, a voice was saying. Did you happen to recognize this voice? No. I see. Well, that is unfortunate. I'm sure you caught sight of that uh, electricity unshrouding the castle. That is Calamity Ganyon. Ganon, <laughs> for me. 100 years ago. That vile inter. In, in t <sighs> Why? Why, why game? <laughs> Robbed the kingdom of Hyrule to ruin. It appeared suddenly and destroyed everything in its path. So many innocent lives were lost in its wake. For century, the very symbol of our kingdom, Hyrule Castle, has been managed to contain that evil, but just barely. There, if it festers at buildings and strength for the moment, it will unleash its blight upon the land once again. It would appear that moment is fast approaching. I am going to be the one to save it. Yep, I must ask you, courageous one. Do you intend to make your way to the castle? I do. I had a feeling you would say that. Here on this isolated plateau, we are surrounded on all sides by steep cliffs. If you were to try to jump off, well, no death could be more certain or more foolish. Yep. Of course, if you had a paraglider like mine, that would be quite another story. I never, I actually, before, was like, paraglider, but I mean, should I say hand it over this time? Hand it over. <laughs> I know it's kind of rude, but why not? Um, but there is no such thing as a free item in this world, you know? Let's see, you know. How about I trade it for a bit of treasure that summer's nearby? I thought I'd plot to. We went your log. Um... Your adventures will be seen till here. Okay. I'm going to show you something. Alright, can I? Okay. I sucked him. Let me haste now. Just follow me. Oh, I think he's slow. Okay. That shrine over there. You see that structure there, the, the one shining with a strange light. It began to at the exact moment those towers rose up from the ground. It's like one of those little built, the little temples with puzzles and stuff that I'm really bad at. I would think such a place might ha uh, might house some treasure, wouldn't it you? Treasure for the paraglider, a fair change, exchange, I believe. Alright, yep, yeah, the treasure. Greedy old man. Alright. So here is the little temple with the treasure. The omen. I shine. I can't, I don't know if I said it right. I'm sorry, but these, 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 these names? This is uh, too much for me. Alright then. Try to get 
Travel gate registered to map. Access granted. And there it is. It's open. Ready for us to go inside. Not to come out. Just, just go in it. And yes, there we go. So yeah, I guess we'll get his treasure to him. And then we'll end it off here. I hope you guys are really enjoying this series. Is that what I, I don't know. I, I think I would enjoy recording this, to be honest. And the playing on my own. To you, to you who sets foot in the shrine, Omen U. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Um, but off screen, I never really finished it, to be honest. I don't know. It's not that I wasn't into it. It's just I feel like um, either I was more interested in playing other games at the time. Like, you know, finishing my Animal Crossing Island or recording some other videos. Or, I don't know. I just feel like, I, I don't know. I feel like if I'm recording this, I'll be able to probably, I'll probably play more of this game. That went off. Uh, well, it's not recording, to be honest. You know? Alright, well... Okay, wait, wait, wait I, I remember it's like a little... Yeah, right here. I'm talking too much that I forget what I'm doing. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, would, I would love to continue making um, this as a series, because I am running out of um, games to record for you guys. I mean, I eventually plan to do streams for these games, like you know, Animal Crossing and some other uh, games that I have in mind. But uh, for now, I don't have my uh, like capture card yet. So, but in the future, when the capture card I do get the capture card, I will be doing some streams, and that'll be a lot of fun. But now I need to find some um, some series to do, and that's why I was thinking, hey, Zelda would be a good game because I never really finished it. So, might as well do it for the video. So this is a ruin. The ruins are like little power ups that you got, and um, this one I think is the. Oh, I don't remember what this one is. Okay, this is the little magnet. Yeah, now I remember. So these ruins I never really use that much, but you know, I think they're pretty helpful. Okay. So, okay, we got this. Move that out the way. There you go. No, no, no. I, I, oh, it's one of those spider things. I hate those so much. They're the worst things in the game. Mm, get out of here, dude. I really don't like these dumb things. Oh. What am I doing? Get out of here. Wait, is that going to blow up? Okay. I thought it was going to blow me up. Thank you. I really hate the bigger ones. So that was not the one I was talking about. But there's like a bigger spider in this game that shoots lasers at you, which is the most annoying enemy, in my opinion, that I've seen in this game. Playing off screen. I pull it down, right? Oh, we just pull the gates open. Okay. Pull those gates open. And, uh. I don't know why, but this, these little weird things up top look kind of like a Yoda to me. <laughs> I don't know why. It does, it does look like Yoda, right? Now I'm kind of forgetting what Yoda looks like, though. But that's kind of what I kind of imi uh, image him to be. Right? Is that what Yoda looks like? No, Yoda's like green, right? Well, if he was brown, that's what Yoda would be. Owen, ooh. The creator of this tribe. I don't know if that, what, the, what, ooh. Is that, was that his name? I am humble mock, blessed with the sight of God. It's highly, I, I can't read all this. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm slow. I'm trying to read on this. But, you know, with your arrival, my duty is now fulfilled. He's going to give me one of those thingy majiggies we'll see in a minute. And the goddess Hylia. Highly. I can't. I can't, guys. I can't read. <laughs> yeah, some of the, these words, if I pronounce them wrong, I'm sorry. I'm not the best at pronouncing these words that they're saying to me. That's just how I am. I'm, I, I'm not the best at pronouncing things. Spirit Orb. So this is one of the things that you have to give to the little statues. And they'll give you, like, hearts. More hearts or more stamina. 
very helpful. I've only, um, the, that's like, I only did that once, though, given one of the statues that. But these are very helpful if you do them more, which I never, I've only finished the basic ones, which, you know, yeah, I'm pretty bad at puzzles. Don't, don't mind me. All right, we're getting out of there, I guess, and getting him his treasure. I mean, I don't really know what the treasure was, but, you know, got him something, I guess. Was that the treasure? The, the, the old orb? I have no idea what the treasure even was. Fly over here. There he is. See if you manage to get your hands on a spirit orb. Well done. Uh, clairvoyance. Voyance. Is that, is that like, French? <laughs> I might be, I don't know. Oh, I have perhaps that's some, something similar. As one gets older, it can become more difficult to see what is what is right before one's very own eyes. However, what that which was once hidden from view can often be crystal clear. But perhaps that is not true for everyone. The appearance of those towers and the awakening of the shrine. It is all connected to the, sh the Shakia slate. You carry on your hip. Uh, paraglider, please? <laughs> what do you mean? It has been quite some time since I have seen that Shakia slate. I should have put paraglider, please. <laughs> I think I did. I showed the same option before. Long ago, I highly advanced tribe known as the Shiki inhabited these lands. The great power of the wisdom saved this kingdom time and time again. But their ancient technology disappeared long ago, or so it is said to. It is interesting, however, to think how something like that survived all this time hidden away in a shrine. These shrines are tucked away in numerous places all across this land. On this planet two alone, I believe there are still three more. Bring me the Oh man, I forgot you had to fight like like three of them. No, I, I remember how stressful that was. I hated getting those orbs. I need more now. I said treasure, but I never said there would be one treasure. You little... Mm, I forgot he wanted three. I literally forgot about that. Whether it's one treasure or four, what's the difference for a young go-getter like yourself? They're freaking hard to get. That's what. I had to go like in the snow area. And like, I don't remember. The, uh, oh, my God. So if you're feeling generous, I will also teach you a trick for finding shrines. So it's best to survey the area by looking around from the high point. Let's see here. How about you make your way to the tower? The top again. Are you joking? Oh, I am afraid not, but do not worry. I have another little trick to share with you for your effort. Take a look at the map on your Shakia slate. those blue icons you should recognize the cave where you will certainly you came from in tower yep you can travel instantly to any of those places with the shakia site i know that but you know that is a good tip or so i heard quite some time ago i do not know if it actually works as such it does all right, well, I'm probably not going to find all three of them in this episode. Do we need all... Th is there three more left, or is it like the... Is there only two more? Because, I mean, I don't know. I, wasn't thinking, I think it was, I think it's three that he wants me to go for. So, that kind of sucks. I forgot you even had to do that. Uh, but we'll do that probably next episode. We'll probably um, find those there. And then we'll have probably get our little glider. I kind of... Totally forgot that there was like three of the treasures that he wants from you. Yikes. A little unfortunate there. I won't get my paraglider for a while. I, mean, I, I, I have no idea where those temples were. I, remember, I do remember that one was the snowy area, which was a pain to get. Because I, I know in the snow area, you need like a coat and stuff, or you're just gonna die of freeze. Um. Which um, was r really bad. I mean, I did have vegetables or something to keep me warm. So maybe I'll, I'll have that again. But, you know. I do have one temple I remember. But that's really the only thing I remember from the, those those three. But hopefully, um, yeah, we'll probably find those next episode. And maybe get our glider then. I probably can just travel up here, right? Who can uh, there, travel to the cave? There we go. 
I'm just being teleported away, spirited away to this tower. But anyways, that that's going to wrap up our first episode of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I really do hope you guys enjoy the series. It's something new that, you know, people that are probably not a big fan of Animal Crossing Pokemon that I've been doing for a while probably will probably enjoy this game. Because, I mean, I, um, the first time I played this game, I did enjoy it. Uh, I'm probably going to enjoy it even more getting able to record it for you guys and sharing my experience with it with you guys. And, um, yeah, let me, guys, let me know, guys, if you would like me to record more of the legend of zelda breath of the wild i would like to get all you guys thoughts of you know if i should record this more or not because I, I would love to start recording different types of videos not always the same things all the time you know i've it, I, it's been a i i have ever been recording a lot of di different things on my channels and like the same things pokemon animal crossing you know sometimes flame or zombies which kind of got burnt out from that game as well and honestly isn't going to get any updates anymore so it's like there's not a lot of things to record for that game either so i would like to start ma making more videos for that uh i have some other games that i could play as well for the channel but i feel like those are pretty better streaming games but um in the future we will be streaming if you guys didn't know i have a twitch the um i will be streaming in the future i don't know when but in the future i'll be uh, getting my capture cards like i said in the beginning and i'll be streaming video games there um, Animal Crossing, I, has, uh, I was thinking about doing some, like, some Splatoon, I have Splatoon as well, but I feel like it's better of a game to, like, live stream than record, some of the game I probably would live stream more often than record, um, but yeah, if you guys want to see uh, me stream, I'll be on Twitch soon, maybe, and, um, yeah, come hang out over there, but, um, anyways, let me guys know if you guys enjoyed, um, this first episode of Legend of Zelda, and we'll want to see me play more in the in the future. Um, if you did enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like, and if you're new, subscribe to my channel. And um, yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing day. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, guys.